Hey guys, this is the review for your midterm. We are um, doing the unit circle questions now. So what we're going to do is first we got to convert this into degrees. Guys, why do I what? So if I have pi on top, pi here. Did you have a question? No? Okay. So these cancel out. I multiply across the top and divide, and I get negative 150 degrees. Now remember, this is a lot. Um, this is not on the unit circle. So you're going to keep adding 360 multiple times. Um, I don't remember how, but it took, it took a good moment, dot, dot, dot. And I got it all the way to 30 degrees. Did you get that, Jacory? The 30? Okay. So, so here we go. We want the secant of 30 degrees. Now, the reciprocal of secant is cosine. Remember, we've got to get everything back to the unit circle. So cosine is your x value, sine is your y value. So cosine of 30 is square root 3 over 2. Now, what we have to do next is we have to turn this into secant. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to flip. So this will be 2 over the square root of 3. Okay. Now we can't have the square root at the bottom. So what we're going to do is rationalize it. So multiply both the top and the bottom by that square root of 3. And we get 2 square root of 3 over the square root of 9. And then we're going to clean this up. So we get 2 square roots of 3 over 3. And that is your final answer. Okay. Hey, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's look at number 17. Cosecant of 31 pi over 6. So, step one, like before, we got to get this thing on the unit circle. We got to convert it. So, we do pi at the bottom, so the pi's cancel times 180. So, if you do 31 times 180, divide by 6. I got 930. Okay. Not on the unit circle, so we're going to subtract this a couple of times. I think twice did it for me, and I got 210 degrees. So the question here is what is cosecant of 210 degrees? So the reciprocal of cosecant is sine. So we're going to go to our unit circle. Sine is the second number. So sine of 120 is negative 1 half. But what we got to do is get it into cosecant terms. So we're going to flip it. And we get 2 over negative 1. So you can leave it like that or just say the answer is negative 2. Okay, that was kind of fun. Okay, here's my keyboard. Okay, so secant of 11 pi over 3, sadly it's not on the unit circle. So we're going to convert. These cancel, so if you multiply across the top, divide by 3, you get 660 degrees. And so what we're just going to do here is subtract, and we get 300. So we get secant of 300 degrees is the question. So the reciprocal of secant is cosine. 
So cosine of 300 is going to be your x value, which is 1 half. And remember, we have to flip it. So we get 2 over 1, or just 2. Okay, I hope you're having fun. The unit circle's not that bad, right guys? Yeah, didn't think so either. Okay, step one. Yes, I entertain myself. Step one, we got to convert. So pi on the bottom, 180 on the top. Now, if I multiply across the top, divide by 4, I got negative 765. We're going to keep adding 360. I think we had to do this one like three times, approximately. And I got 315 degrees. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Now... Question is cosecant of 315 degrees. So that would be sine of 315 degrees. Sine of 315 is negative square root 2 over 2. Here we have to flip it. And I get this. And then we're going to have to rationalize because we don't want that at the bottom. Multiply, so we get two square roots of two over negative square root of four. So this would be two square root of two over negative two. Now on the last test, y'all a lot of y'all got to this point, but stopped, and you want to be careful. We have a 2 on the outside on top, and 1 outside on the bottom, and we can reduce that. So my final answer here would be negative square root of 2. Okay. Hey, guys. So on this one, we're doing a right triangle. My vice is label. So this is going to be hypotenuse. Okay, anything across from that little square. Across from theta is going to be opposite. So that means left over is adjacent. Now we've got to do the Pythagorean theorem to get our missing side. Please be careful. So it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And what's important, bless you, is c is your hypotenuse. Okay. So 3 squared plus b squared equals 5 squared. Now, it does not matter that I put b in for a. B could, 3 could go in for b as well. It actually doesn't matter. Only number that matters here is that 5. So we get 9 plus b squared equals 25. Subtract your 9. b squared equals 16. Take your square root. And we get b equals 4. Okay. Now, going with Sakatoa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 3, adjacent is 4. Okay. And then 21. I tried. I'm not good at drawing these. 16 and 12. Okay. So label, label, label. Hypotenuse. Opposite. And adjacent. We're missing our side, so we got to do the Pythagorean theorem. But notice here I'm missing hypotenuse. So this is 16 squared 
plus 12 squared equals c squared. Can you tell me what 16 squared is? Two fifty six, thank you. Twelve squared is one forty four. Add these up and we're gonna get four hundred. Square root, square root, and we get twenty. Okay. Okay, now what was the question? The question here is sine. Now going back up here to Sakatoa, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite here is 12, hypotenuse is 20. And then we can reduce this and I get 3 over 5. Okay, I hope this helps and I wish you good luck on your midterm.